after three episodes showing the project in Kenya's capital city, we now move to Tanzania. We are in the mid 20 an innovation center in Arusha. We have been working in this workshop for one month and we'll try to show you briefly the great work they do. Trend is a social innovation center that seeks to empower the community to become their own problem solvers through local technology. At Twende, we believe that everyone is creative enough to do more with less. We've been existing for over eight years and we've been running programs to empower the local Tanzanians to become their own problem solvers. We have programs that address needs from kindergarten students to primary school students, university and the public in general. We provide support in many ways. The first way is the makerspace. Twende has an equipped makerspace. The other one is technical support and mentorship. With this, anyone can come with their idea, talk to the creativity trainer, the creative team, and they brainstorm these ideas and how can they bring the idea to life here in the makerspace. And from there on, great things happen. Other than the space, uh, we also have educational programs. One, we call it a CCB, which stands for Creative Capacity Building, which takes uh, one week, that is five, five days. So in that one, uh, for two days, they learn how to come up with a solution, how to know whether this is a problem. After that week, they come back um, on their own time and develop that solution until it reaches the point that they can be used or sold. Another one is one we called Build It, which is a very short uh, program that they can come for a few hours or a few days. This one uh, we have designed the devices that they are simple to make and they, they can come depending on their time and according to their ages. So this program uh, aims for them to make something that works and then they take it home. So another one, um, th that's, this is third, uh, we, we bring the university students, most of them uh, have background in engineering, and the social development. Um, and we also take some students from other countries, that means from foreign country, and they come together with the community. The community mentions their problems and then they co-create the solution. Uh, they develop it to the point that it can be taken to the, to the community or sold or just used. Impact is enormous in a way that the startups that have come from our makerspace are serving the community in a number of ways. Here Assistive Tech started a few years, years back where the first JTP program brought together two local students and one international student and connected us with a community which was Jeffrey Academy special education unit. By making us work with the community, it ensured that whatever we were designing was going to be useful for that community. So we came up with designing a multi-purpose wheelchair that could function as a wheelchair, a standing frame, and a bench for resting. This would help with reducing the number of devices used for one kid, especially for kids with cerebral palsy and their families. As we were doing this project, we also discovered that there was a bigger problem. When it came to assistive devices here in Tanzania, first they were either inappropriate in terms of uh, the locally designed ones were not made up to the standards, or the imported ones were not designed for these environments here. Therefore, they'll be very hard to repair and they'll be hard to customize according to the needs of each uh, user that is getting them. And second, they will not be appealing. And most of the imported uh, products were 
more expensive than the families could afford, especially considering all the costs they have to incur due to the disability of their family member. When they, even though we have grown to have our own workshop, even to date, we still work with Twende in terms of uh, being able to ask for help in different matters or expertise from some of the employees. We believe in a community that has been empowered to make their own technologies. And so far, we've helped over 5,000 people come up with over 300 technological prototypes. And six tech startups have come from our makerspace. This is because of the programs that we've been running in our main makerspace in Arusha and our satellite center in Kilimanjaro. To me, the future is exciting because I can't wait to see more Tanzanians being impacted by the programs we run. Twende is a Swahili word that means, let's go. So why don't you join me as we help Tanzanians become their own problem solvers?